I mean, my hair is in a whole ponytail right now. I literally cannot believe how quickly my hair is growing. But that only means one thing, a little chop chop video is gonna be coming soon again because I can't, this is too much, okay? Um, but today we are getting into a regular, regular wash and go video. It's a little bit of an experiment because I'm trying two products that I have never ever used before, so a little bit excited about that. So it's the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Rice Water Protein and Moisture Strengthening Treatment. And then also I feel like I'm probably the last person on earth to try this, but I will be trying the Wetline Extreme Gel that the entire natural hair community have been raving about forever. I have literally never tried either of these. So I'm really excited to get into this mini wash and go experiment. Let's just jump in. So starting off with Hot Mess Express Hair. Of course, we're gonna start out with cleansing. I am going to use the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Shampoo. Y'all already know this is one of my winners from the Gold and the Silk Awards. Love this shampoo so, so much. My hair could use some good moisture, especially since we're gonna be adding a little bit of protein in today as well. So one thing I've been loving lately is actually using my detangling brush to detangle with shampoo. I feel like this is like next level. First of all, you gotta make sure you find a shampoo that's like moisturizing enough to be able to do this without like ripping out your hair. This is definitely one of them. Um, but I just feel like this gives us an extremely good clean and then it sets your curls up. They're already nice and detangled and smoothed out and everything for the conditioners. I just noticed my curls respond really well to doing this, so I've been doing it. So like, you see what I mean? The curls are just starting out defined, super cleansed, and just smoothed out. It's like the best way to start out your wash and go. Time to dig into the strengthening treatment. I'm really excited about it. So they did a little innovation here, okay? So let me show you the packaging. So you guys see how the nozzle has like two sides? So they actually have the protein side and then the moisture side. So do you all see that? So the protein and the moisture side both come out and then you mix them all together to apply the treatment. Yep, smells the same as all the Don't Despair Repair products, I love it. I just love this so much because you know how many times I'm always preaching to you guys how important it is to have that protein moisture balance and like you can physically see it as it's coming out of the packaging that it is equal parts protein and equal parts of moisture. So you know you're already getting the balance that you need from one product. Ooh, I'm so excited to dig into this. So we've got our first section here. And I just have high hopes. Y'all already know how much I love their Don't Despair Repair collection. It's just so good. And this product is basically just taking all the strengthening and repair benefits to the next level. I did attend an event which was hosted by Nancy Twine herself, the founder of Riojio, and she introduced the product to us. And I did ask, like, you know, okay, what about people who have semi-healthy hair, because y'all know I take care of my hair. My hair is very short also, I just recently cut off all the color and everything, so it is pretty healthy, but she did say that this is a product that you can still continue to use. You probably just don't need to use it as often if you do have healthy hair, but it will help you to maintain healthy poppin' hair. So it's like the perfect time for me to use this right now. I haven't done a protein treatment in a minute now. So I love the fact that I am still getting, you know, that strengthening and a little bit of protein for my hair without having to skimp on the moisture because the moisture is still up in there. It's like the perfect balance. This is feeling really good in my hair right now. It just is gliding right through. If y'all love the Don't Despair Repair Mask, you will absolutely love this. Like it feels just like it glides right through the hair and it literally feels moisturizing. It doesn't feel, you know, like some protein treatments can feel a little like brittle. Like you can tell that the moisture is missing. This just feels like straight moisture. Like if I didn't know protein was in here, I would just call this a moisturizing mask because it literally feels that good in my curls. So the one thing about this product is that I keep having to go back and like pump more. Usually for a mask, you kind of just scoop out as much as you need and not really have to go back. Um, but I will say maybe that's helping me not use as much product, like not, you know, go crazy because I have a tendency to go crazy with products. <laughs> 
Um, so I don't know, I guess pros and cons with that one. I do love the fact though that they have been able to demonstrate clearly that there is that equal, you know, mix of protein and moisture in the mask. So I do think that's really cool. So let's see how long I'm actually supposed to leave this in my hair. Leave in for at least 10 minutes or longer slash overnight as desired. Okay, so I love that, that you can get the results you need in 10 minutes at minimum. So I am gonna do that. We're gonna leave this in for 10 minutes, rinse it out, and then I am gonna dig into that gel. I'm actually really excited for the gel. Okay, so with the mask out, curls still feel amazing. They feel soft and like balanced. It, it really does actually feel really nice and balanced and I'm loving it. The curls are popping. And so we're ready to style. So wet line extreme. Let's get into this consistency first. So here's what it looks like. It is a thicker kind of gel. Okay, it's not like super jelly it looks like. It's just a thick gel. Okay, that's interesting. Usually I kind of tend to like thick gels that have a little bit of more of a jelly consistency just because I know that's usually a little bit more curl defining, but I'm not going to count it out yet. Alright, so I am going to style with my shower running just in case we need to add a little bit of additional water. And I did also want to mention ingredients. So it's alcohol free, it says no residue, and it does have aloe vera in there. I do believe it is silicone free as well. For thick gels like this, I like to take a little bit of extra time just making sure the product is nice and rubbed out and everything. And then we just apply. Ooh, it's kind of gliding in my curls a little bit. Okay. I don't know you guys, the hype might be real. Actually, I can't say that yet. Not until we fully dry, because that's really what's gonna tell us the real tea, but I mean, so far, it's holding it down. All right, so here is how my hair is looking so far. It is feeling really heavy with the gel. The gel is feeling real thick in there. Um, that could either go really good or really bad. I can kind of tell it might take a little bit of time for this to dry, so our next check-in probably won't be until tomorrow, but that'll be good because then y'all will get to see day two curls. But what I'm gonna do is I'll diffuse a little bit off camera and then I still like to kind of mostly air dry, especially when I have time. I'm just chilling at home today for the rest of the day, getting some other work done. So yeah, this is it so far. I will check in with y'all tomorrow for the final results. Okay guys, day two results. Let's talk about it. So first thing I noticed today, my hair is super strong. I'm not too like, y'all know I've been loving my hair short, so I'm not too like mad at the fact that lengthwise it's shrunk, but it also feels very compressed. And I think that has to do with the thickness of the gel. This is really just how I woke up. So normally what I would do is just go ahead and fluff. So let's do that to see if maybe we can increase the volume a little bit. I will say that overall my hair feels good. Like it feels, it doesn't feel dry, it feels nice and moisturized, it feels balanced, it feels soft, it doesn't feel crunchy or anything like that. So I feel like the products we used kind of worked really well. Definitely the treatment. I love, 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 love the treatment, all the wash products. The gel, I'm still kind of on the fence about. So here's a close up. The thing I like about this gel is I feel like it did offer a really good amount of shine and that's huge because sometimes you have a gel that'll do everything for you except for give you shine. So I'm pretty happy about that. I think it's just the thickness of the gel that is throwing me off a little bit. Like you guys know when I'm talking about my favorite gels, I'm always saying that they're a lightweight hold that offer curl definition and don't really stifle my curls. They let my curls be big and fluffy. Like this is giving twist out, I feel like, because it's so thick that it kind of really like stifles my curls a little bit. I am really curious now that I'm working out Monday through Friday, no excuses. I'm really curious to see how it's gonna last through the gym and how it's gonna last just regularly throughout the week. I'll see if I can pop in with a quick update video, maybe on like day three, day four, just to show how it's looking. Um, usually with alcohol-free gels, I don't get as long-lasting curls, but let's see, let's put it to the test. And 
had to pop in here and do a really quick uh, day four check-in. Now, disclaimer, I have been working out now. I work out every single morning, Monday through Friday. So I have been working out. But the gel just didn't, it's not standing up to the workouts. It's not doing what I need it to do. Let's get into a little bit of a close-up. You can see my hair is completely frizzing out at this stage and I know day four is like okay like you can't expect perfection on day four but I would still expect something a little bit better <laughs> than the situation I've got going on with my hair I either need to go in now with a fresh wash or a deep deep refresh in order to salvage this because it's not it's not giving so basically I will say what I have truly experienced with this gel is that it's just thick so it's not offering curl definition. It didn't even really offer me hold. It's just a thick gel that kind of just sat on top of my curls on day one and day two, and then just evaporated and went away and let the curls go wild. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not, it's just not giving. And this is why I really have such a strong preference for more sticky kind of jelly kind of gels because they offer more curl definition. And once you train your curls into getting that curl definition on day one, like it's less frizz. So yeah, you know what? I actually don't even think I would use that gel again. I'll probably find somebody else to give that to because you know what? People were hype about it. It obviously works for somebody's curls, okay? Let me know. Anybody watching this, if you want me to ship you the rest of my jar, I will. Um, but yeah, no, because it's just not for me, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say the wet line extreme was a flop for me. I just had to come in here and give y'all a little update because I really am not, I mean, we've had better day fours than this for sure. So that's the day four update. <laughs> Hey guys, that's about to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.